Um, now, this is an overview of human viral infections. Um, it's not perfect, but it gives you an idea of different areas of the body that are infected by different viruses. The varicella zoster virus, I wanted to point this one out, is the chickenpox virus. And this is the one that can lead to shingles later in life by remaining latent in the um, genome of the host cells. Um, human papilloma virus is listed here. Let's see, STDs such as herpes simplex 2, which is genital herpes, um, HPV, human papilloma virus, and then HIV. These are STDs caused by viruses. Um, pancreatitis can be caught, pancreatitis is inflammation of the pancreas. And um, inflammation of the pancreas can be caused by a virus, Coxsackie B virus, or it can also be caused by alcoholism, um, just stress to the pancreas in general somehow, but alcoholism is a common cause. Chronic alcoholism is a common cause of pancreatitis. Um, hepatitis can be, it's another thing, hepatitis is the symptom. So hepatitis just means inflammation of the liver. But there are five hepatitis viruses that can cause hepatitis. And then you can also get hepatitis from um, alcohol. You can get it from um, medications, you know, over taking, taking too much medication or the wrong medication. Uh, pneumonia is something where your lungs fill up with fluid, and that can be caused by the influenza virus, the flu virus types A and B, para-influenza viruses, which are not t technically the flu, um, respiratory syncytial virus, and adenoviruses, and then the SARS coronavirus, which is what it, uh, the, the type of virus that's responsible for COVID-19. It's also responsible for the SARS um, uh, epidemic that occurred around 2002 and 2003. SARS just means, um, oh gosh, severe acute respiratory um, Sickness. I'm not. Sure, I'm not sure what the S stands for. But anyway, severe acute respiratory syndrome. Syndrome. That's what it is. Okay. So um, then you have the common cold can be caused by rhinoviruses. Probably is the most common. Para influenza viruses can cause the common cold, and the respiratory syncytial virus can cause the common common cold. Um, there are viruses that can lead to encephalitis or meningitis, which is the inflammation of the meninges or the um, membranes that surround the brain and the spinal cord. You have viruses that can cause eye infections. Um, so that's a pretty good list. Viral infections in plants tend to um, be transmitted by um, a variety of vectors. Now, the plant usually has to have damage. So um, maybe maybe you have a thunderstorm or um, even a hurricane or a tornado, but some severe weather comes along and damages the leaves of the plant. Insects eating the plant will damage it. Animals can damage the plant. Fire and human activities like farming or landscaping can damage the plant. So once there is an opening in the plant because the plant was damaged, um, then something has to contact the plant's sap, something containing the virus. So sometimes it's insects, sometimes it's nematodes, which are roundworms, and sometimes it's pollen. So um, when plant viruses are transferred from plant to plant, we call this horizontal transmission. And when they're inherited from a parent plant and transmitted to the offspring in the form of a seed, this is called vertical transmission. 